I was invited to New Orleans by Dr. Alton Oxner to work on a cancer research project, but I had to come two weeks early because my school got out early, and if you look in the book, you'll see why I did not want to go home. So I went there with very little money because they promised a stipend and free room and board and all this, but they weren't there and, and they wouldn't let me do that. So all of a sudden I had, I had to live at the YWCA and move in with a, an aspiring Playboy bunny and uh, two strippers and a waitress, okay? All crowded in one room and you had to pay, uh, you had to pay a bribe to one of the girls so that nobody else would steal the, your clothes. So that was the kind of introduction I had to New Orleans, plus being followed. The minute I got off the bus, uh, I was followed by a couple seedy looking men, so I had to turn back and get a cab, even though it wasn't that far to the Y. So that was the middle of the night. Okay, so I, it's a rough, tough city, and I'm in with the wrong crowd right away. And I hear, hear about Marcello, and I even hear about, um, well, there was a raid even that night. And one of the strippers came in early in the morning, around 5 in the morning, with newspapers wrapped around her. She was stark naked except for her pasties and, and G-string because she'd been in a raid. She, she uh, managed to escape before they caught her. And she had to sneak home, um, you know, wrapping herself in newspapers to get back into the Y. So uh, it was a different world from my uh, rather sheltered one as doing cancer research, working at the university, and so on in Florida.